Good morning, guys. We are out here without Rachel. We are going to do two fertilizers and two limes. Um, we're almost done doing all our fertilizer. I think I have one, two, three more that I have to lime and fertilize, and then not including these two, and then six or seven more that I just have to do fertilizer. And I think we're going to do a lot of them tomorrow with hopes that it's going to rain on Wednesday. I think it's going to rain all day. But mowing, we still are, even though the grass is growing, we still are going to push mowing off. Hopefully not until the beginning of April I'm shooting for, but we'll see how the weather does that. This cold that we just got, that nine degrees at night, pushed the grass back some. So, and hopefully killed some of them pesky weeds that popped early. We're going to get out. I'll show you this one real quick, show you how it's looking. We're doing lime and fertilizer on this one. I think it's 110 to do this one. This is a little bigger than our normal ones. Well, it's 110 and 110. So it'll be 220 for me to lime and fertilize this one. So let's get so out. Here's the first one we're doing. Grass looks really nice. Um, I was reading a lot about the Jonathan green seed. It's supposed to be drought resistant. Um, supposed to be darker green, so you don't have to use as much fertilizer. But we're still gonna keep the fertilizer the same um, and do everything the same still but not many weeds in this yard, which is a good thing. This is a little bit of um, weeds and warm season grass mixed in here. Actually, I think that is warm season grass mixed in here, but it'll go, it'll die back once I spray it. So we're still using this fertilizer here, the 1305 and just going heavier and the cow lime. Um, now, site one told me this morning, they, got, they did get the 1903 in, but I might only need two more bags to finish up or three more bags, so we'll see. Um, so let me get okay, this one. So this front and back's done, but you guys wanna see something cool? This is the biggest Japanese maple I've ever seen. This thing's been here forever. And suppose when they bought the house, the guy told me that um, the previous owner meticulously gave him way instructions on how to prune it because that was one of the reasons selling the house he didn't wanna sell because of this tree. Wait until you guys, when we come back to do the second round, wait until you guys see when it's all leafed out. It's beautiful. Now, I'm not sure the species of it or the um, what kind of Japanese maple it is because there's many that are that type. But there you guys go. We've done this one, number two for the day. This one's a tiny one. On um, that one, I think we do $65 or $70 for lime, $70 for fertilizer. So not that bad. Two jobs done. Now we're gonna go and do the real work. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Well, How a little bit afternoon. Yeah, but... I think it's afternoon because um, Carl did some fertilizer this morning, ran some errands, and I taught. So now we're out to do some more. So what we're doing, I explained, we're gonna prune up these bushes so Rachel can clean them mm -hmm. while I go over there and do. Um, the, the dream I'm gonna and... I'm gonna till up some more. We're gonna level all that out so it's ready for sod for when we get the sod, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna start messing with the getting some more of the dirt out for the patio. Yeah. Um. Then hopefully start. I think tomorrow we might come back here with mold. Yeah, we'll we see what happens because yeah, we only have one vehicle and we're still working in between jobs. We still have the 75 yard mulch job that we're working on. Um. And yeah, so we're just going to keep going back and forth so yeah. that we can get these jobs knocked out before mowing starts. Definitely. And we're hoping that's not until the end of the month, but yeah. we will see. So let's get out and work and we'll talk later. Okay. okay, guys. So this is that other project. The only thing we're doing here is cutting all this back so we can bring some mulch over here. But I'm going to cut these. What are these? Boxwoods? Yeah. These boxwoods that are really, really leggy. We're going to cut them back so they're not going to look pretty but we're gonna hope they fill in. And then this abelia, that's what this is. Mm -hmm. We're cutting this way back too. So it's called the hard pruning we're gonna do and then see what this all does. And then next year they might take all this out too and we'll do the next step in the whole project, but we'll see.
Okay guys, you've seen, I'm gonna leave the boss here to clean everything up and then she'll come get me when she's done and we'll pull the truck up to the other place. I'm gonna take the combi and go till the back of this yard, get it all loosened up and prepped for, uh, prepped for um, sod and then start doing the patio. Okay guys, you've seen, I got all this leveled out here. We're gonna rake this in. We're gonna rake this in. We're actually gonna take that plant out. But instead of digging this hole, you know what this combi works good for? We're able to trench the whole thing out with this combi. Um, but we have to go empty the truck. I ran out of gas. So we're gonna come back here tomorrow. Get all that dug out, lay our pipe through here, and start leveling all that out for Rachel to lay sod. And then I'm gonna finish digging this out. And we're gonna start jumping gravel in here, or not gravel, a crushed quarry dust and gravel mixed together. And we're gonna work this way. So nice. Sure. Feeling you're gonna get hot as soon as you get out there and start loading that mulch in the truck. Probably, but I'm gonna go do tree rings. I have one, two, three four right here i didn't know there were four more that's good because we more. we need as much as we can to put yeah and around. then there's that one like diagonal behind us so i have four five Three. six right mm -hmm. and then the fire pit the burning bush the crepe myrtle and then an oak tree over there oh there isn't a third tree over here no i don't oh. think so we're on this property every week, you'd think that we'd remember, but... Yeah, you would think we'd remember. <laughs> so the boss has to get out and be a lady and let me out of the car. No, oh, yeah, I do. I, forgot. I don't have a handle anymore, guys. <laughs> no, but I can reach out the window and open the door still. I was in the car... Old trusty, old trusty, man. This operation's falling apart, boss. Your trailer's falling apart. Your truck's falling oh, apart. Gosh. It's time to get out, right? Yeah. No. No. Where it, believe me, no, it would take a lot more than a broken handle to get out, yeah, and broken stuff. Um, no, but yeah, we definitely have a bunch of work to do before we start mowing like next week, yeah. And I'm gonna, well, the grass got stunted by the freeze, so the hard freeze we have, if you notice, everything kind of shriveled up, so it'll take a little while to come back. Um, but she's right, we do got to start mowing a couple more. Yeah, I w I'm not going to fix this handle on this car. I'm not even going to attempt it. I'll reach out the window. It's got 130,000 miles. Mm -hmm. It's going to be our work truck forever. So Yeah. I actually, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I really don't ever drive this truck because it is the motor or whatever is broken in the seat and you can't even push the seat up. So when I drive this truck, I have to like really reach but i did get it cleaned out if you guys see yeah all nice and clean now blew it out with the blower <laughs> um but it is what it, it is. is what it is you know 
So we're going to get out. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, that's it could sure. definitely be a lot worse. So we're going to get out. Rachel's going to, you going to load some mulch Yeah, in there? I'll load some up while you're. And then once I get done the first two rings. Yeah, I'll... then I'll come blow. Okay. And then, and we'll... then yeah. Okay. So let's go so we get got this plans. going. Guys, we got one, two, three, four more mulch rings done. And I spaded out that one over there. It's getting to be about 6.30. So we're gonna call it for today. And I'm gonna come for a funky shadow on my face now, guys. Yeah, it's all crazy, but that's all right. It's still sunny out. No filter. Yeah, <laughs> but we're done, we're done for the day. We decided to be done that one because I need to load stuff up in the truck. Yeah, there's more debris. So in order for us to get that amount of debris, it just takes a whole truckload. So, so tomorrow I'm just going to get up. I have about five. I got to fertilize down south of us. Mm. I'll come back. I'll pick up the debris and probably spade a couple more beds, dump the debris off here and then go up back all the way up north and do the project up there. We're kind of working both. I mean, we could stay here all day, but I... It gives us breaks, and if I take a break, and yeah, I don't know. Project, maybe, maybe we do. We're gonna have rain all day Friday, Wednesday. So if anything, it's probably better to be here Wednesday. Right. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I know I gotta fertilize in the morning, so yeah. We'll and do then, that. And then we have three yeah. projects yeah. now we're so, bouncing around. But now. we'll be done a couple of them soon. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean they're they're starting to wrap up. That's why we started the third one mm -hmm. because um we know that we're gonna be wrapping them up. So yeah. we just wanna stay on track as as good as possible. 
So you guys know how it goes. That doesn't happen. All yeah, time. it's spring madness. I mean, as much as you can. So, so guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night, or at least try. Oh yeah.